everybody, today I'm gonna to share with you two techniques on preserving food. I'm going to be blanching some string beans and freezing them, and then I'm going to be pickling some beets using a natural sweetener, honey. So our garden is in full swing right now. I've had snap peas and cucumbers, beets, beans, um, the works, and we're in zone five, so things are coming in pretty heavy right now, and thankfully not all at one stage. I've got broccoli as well, just picked my first head of cabbage, um, tomatoes are coming on, corn's almost ready, so it is definitely preserving time for us. And we love having those type of foods in the winter months as well, and they just taste so good preserved that way and I hope you can use these techniques in your home for your garden produce or go to the farmers market and buy some of these produce items to preserve for your family. I'm going to start with my beans. Now I used to not blanch them before freezing them and they just were not as good. They got soggy. So the first thing I do is snap the ends off and then while I'm doing that, um, salt some water and boil it and then throw it in in my steamy pot and literally blanching takes two minutes and then you put it in an ice bath immediately and there you have it really. You just ice it after your two minutes in boiling water and then I put it in some quart sized freezer bags. So it is super simple to do and something that I think is a lot quicker than canning and really convenient if you have the freezer space. to the beets now this is a lot longer process so um, the beans I would say is for a beginner food preserver beets are probably more for an intermediate pickling them just because it takes more time too but I put them in some hot water and let them soak for oh, probably 30 minutes that's what I set my timer for until the skins are soft soft enough to peel because you don't want to have the skins on the beets and then I put them in some cold water that way I could immediately start peeling them and the skins with your fingers will really start to just crumble off after they've been in that cold water so it makes it easier than trying to cut it off but in a few of them I did have to end up cutting some of the skin off but I just take it out of the water and it is a process especially if you have quite a few beets you want to can and pickle. So here you can see I did have to use my knife to get a little bit of that skin off and then I just cut them into slices. Now you can cut them into chunks if you would like but it's really up to you how you decide you want your pickled beets to look in your jar. All right, and then I filled several pint-sized jars, and I'd say I had about 30 medium-sized beets, and I filled six pint-sized jars, and then I filled them probably to about a half inch from the top, and then I made a brine with apple cider vinegar, water, clove, and cinnamon, and some honey if you want a little sweetness to it, but beets are so sweet the way it is. And then you boil that together and pour that hot liquid over your jars, and then of course you are going to can it. Now I have a stock pot that I use for canning instead of a hot water bath on my glass stove top. So that's something that if you have a hot water bath, that's great. Otherwise you can use a stock pot. And yes, I do it on a glass top. It's not always recommended that way, but it does work. And so I just let those 
um, sit in the water that's boiling for 30 minutes and the water needs to cover the jars about half an inch and then I remove them immediately to um, seal and you hear that nice little pop of the jars you know they're sealed and you just I let them sit for about 24 hours on my counter and store them. Mm -hmm.